Good afternoon, welcome to the Aging 2.0 Age Tech Expo. Well, it's really been two action-packed days of innovation here at the Aging 2.0 Age Tech Expo. The sessions really kicked off with some fantastic keynotes, as well as the opportunity to meet a lot of the great startups we've gotten to know through the Aging 2.0 network over the past year. We're all here because we want more seniors to have a better quality of life and to age gracefully and independently and safely. It really is a delight for me to speak to an audience such as yourself because you deeply understand how technology can serve human flourishing. It's interesting to hear feedback from others that are in the aging space. The, the quality of the vendors and the exhibitors and the speakers it makes sense for us to be here. This is why this is such a great year to be in our business. We now have the underpinnings of the technology that we needed. And what we're trying to do at Aging 2.0 is connect the little companies with the industry and also really at the end of the day drive impact and make scale. So this is absolutely the place to be at if you want to connect with not only potential customers but potential technology partners. Hospital systems, payers, providers, home health agencies, anyone who's looking to keep patients in their home as long as possible. We've had great conversations and out of that has, has come some really innovative solutions that have truly worked for us. Thinking about how you can more easily or as easily as possible plug into the employer network is, is kind of like as important as it is to get to that resident. This conference would not have been possible without the sponsors. Companies like Home Instead Senior Care that have been with us since the beginning, Brookdale where we had our first event, Medline, Direct Supply, El Camino Hospital, Point Click Care, Well Tower, Silverado, and more importantly they're proving that they're open to other ideas from outside. Healthcare technologies can solve a lot of the burdens that are being placed on caregivers and patients worldwide as a result of our increasingly aging population. So I'd really like to thank Aging 2.0 for giving me this wonderful opportunity to launch my sense today. We're ending the day with a really important panel around um, seniors themselves. So we have a panel of older adults who are going to talk to us about what they like, what they don't like, and what they need, and how these innovators can really create solutions that can help. I'm excited because I've heard some very interesting things today. The technology is getting better. We've also got uh, more people joining the senior community who are already tech savvy so where are these going to cross thank you to all of you for the efforts and the projects that you're working on looking forward to seeing the the uh, the innovation expand and, and, and people really just sort of coming and being part of a very collaborative and energetic uh, movement that we're seeing here